Hello everybody, British Bob here, how do you do? Today we're going to be looking at the Jake and the Neverland Pirates musical pirate ship Bucky, who comes with crew members of Captain Jake and Scully. We'll then be moving on to the Jolly Roger, which comes with water cannons and Captain Hook, having a butchers and a few of these accessories from the Neverland treasure pack. And last but not least, we're opening zany surprise eggs, as we are lacking in crew. So we'll be looking to obtain Izzy and Cubby, and maybe even Mr. Smee. So, will you help us unbox these pirate ships and surprise eggs? Great! And remember to keep a lookout for the gold doubloons. Whenever we solve a pirate problem today, they'll appear. Then we'll collect them and put them in our team treasure chest. So, my little bobbies, grab your pirate hats and follow me to the Never Sea. And here comes Bucky! Ah, taking the fresh ocean air. So, now that we're at Sea Mahartis, let's take a closer look at Bucky. As you can see, she's an old style wooden sailing ship with main mast and crow's nest. She has her quarter deck with ship's wheel, the forecastle deck, the main deck down here, and also a red slide to get the crew into the water quickly. She also comes with captain's quarters here, which also opens from the back. On this side of the ship, we have portholes with Izzy and Cubby. And the same again on this side, but with the addition of the ship's anchor. And I don't know if all sailing ships had these in the past, but this particular one comes with a water cannon. And for those of you who don't know, Bucky's actually a living ship, and she communicates with her crew via this bell. And just beneath the bell, we also have the emblem here with Jake's sword, Cubby's map, and Izzy's pixie dust. But where's Jake? Ah, there he is on the main deck. Let's go and say hello. Yo ho ho! And a yo-ho-ho -ho to you too, Jake. Can we just pick you up and take a closer look at you? Now, Jake is only eight years old, but he's the leader of the Jolly Buccaneers and the captain of this ship. He also sports a wooden sword here, which is made from the Forever Tree, which was made and given to him by Peter Pan. Now, Jake has also agreed to give us a guided tour and show us the music and sound effects features of this ship. So, Jake, lead the way to the quarter deck and show us what else Bucky has to offer. So here we are on the quarter deck, and on the floor between Jake and the ship's wheel is a gold doubloon. And if we press it, we get a range of music and sound effects. <laughs> There's also more music and sound effects to choose from, and I'll use these throughout the video. Two further gold doubloons are to be found at the front of the ship, and a secret hatch. But we'll find out what these are for later. Wow, Jake, that was a lot of fun, thank you. But I do have just one question. Where's Scully? Of course, where else would Scully be but up in the crow's nest? So here we have the crow's nest itself, a flag with a skull and crossbones, and Scully. And if we just rotate the mast here, Scully's got a full 360 degree view to try and spot Captain Hook on the horizon. When Skull is not keeping an eye out for Captain Hook, we can also perch him on various points of the ship, including the edge of the crow's nest here, the top of Bucky's bell, the bow of the boat, three points on the quarter deck, two points on the forecastle, and one on the main deck. Jake's also kindly agreed to give us a demonstration of the slide. Are you ready, Jake? Oh, and you too, Scully. Off you go. And while we've been messing around in the water, two surprise eggs have appeared on deck. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Ah, it's Cubby and Izzy. Welcome aboard, shipmates. And for finding Cubby and Izzy, we've got ourselves three gold doubloons. So let's grab them and go. And it looks as though Izzy and Cubby have joined us just in time as Scull has spotted the Jolly Roger on the horizon and it's headed this way. Uh -oh. Quick everyone, we need to reach Captain Hook's boat as fast as we can. What do you think we should do? Should we swim? Fly using Izzy's pixie dust? Or take the rowing boat from the Neverland treasure pack? You all want pixie dust? Yay, hey, we found the quickest way to reach the Jolly Roger and we got four gold doubloons. Let's grab them and go. Jake's asked if we can go across and take a look at what Hook's up to. So let's use some pixie dust and away we go. Oh no, Hook's using the telescope from the Neverland treasure pack. Let's see what he's been looking at. There's Scully and Jake, Cubby and Izzy. And oh no, he's seen that we've got the diamond on board. Quick, let's get back and warn Jake and the others. Right, Jake's asked me to distract Hook to give him enough time to turn the boat around and get the water cannons in position. 
Captain Hook, British Bob, how do you do? I'm currently making a toy unboxing video. Would it be possible to give all my friends a tour of the Jolly Roger? Oh, I'm sorry, you're in a rush and in the middle of something. But you will give me one minute of your time, okay? I'll be as quick as I can. So on the side here we have the windows to the captain's quarters and the captain's quarters itself. On the front here we have a nautical figurehead of a fish, the crow's nest and the Jolly Roger flag, the telescope from the Neverland treasure pack. On the left side of the boat here we have the ship's cannon which can fire water projectiles. We can also position it on the right of the boat, up in the crow's nest, or even down on the bow of the boat. And you see this little line here? All we do is put Hook's feet on this little nubbins, slide him forward, and the plank's now ready to be walked. I hope you're not planning on anyone walking the plank today, Captain Hook. No comment. Fair enough. And here we have the main sail. Oh, what's going on? Another surprise egg. Who could this possibly be? Ah, it's Mr. Smee. Hello, Mr. Smee. Probably just a word of advice here, but it's probably not the safest of places to stand here on the front of the ship. It's your choice. Captain Hook, can I show everyone the secret trapdoor under your feet to the captain's quarters? What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? I can see it right there. You're standing on it. It looks like a giant waffle. No, I won't tell anyone. Nor my friends. Go on. You'll get to be on YouTube. Good man. So here we have the trapdoor just under Captain Hook's feet. And if we simply push him down, oh, he falls down into the captain's quarters. Now I don't care if you're from Neverland, the UK, the USA, or anywhere else in the world for that matter. That's gotta hurt. And by the looks of it, Captain Hook's stuck. And that's just perfect so it'll buy us even more time for Jake to turn the boat round into position. Let's see how he's getting on. Oh, absolutely superb. The water cannons are aiming right at the Jolly Roger. Let's go and see Jake. Aye, aye, Captain. Jake wants us to man the water cannons whilst he holds the ship's wheel and keeps Bucky steady. So here we have the three jets of water, which we simply load into the front of the cannon and wait for it to click. And then we're ready to fire by pressing this button. Oh, he even hit Mr. Smee. Well done, mateys. The Jolly Roger's turning round and heading back out to sea. But where's Hook? The sly old codfish. He's trying to sneak on board Bucky. But don't worry, Jake has a trick up his sleeve. It's this button, isn't it, Jake? Ahoy, we did it. We managed to get rid of Hook and keep our diamond. And we got three more gold doubloons. Now let's put all our gold doubloons into our team treasure chest. Yo ho, for solving pirate problems today, we got 10 gold doubloons. Thanks for helping me to unbox all these toys today, mateys, and I'll see you again soon. Oh, and these aren't really gold doubloons, they're chocolate coins. But they go rather nicely with my cup of tea. It's our Geeling today. Please remember to comment and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Toodle pip.